All right, y'all, it's AGP here, and it's Wednesday. So you know it's time for another AGP video. Now, in my last video, I was talking to y'all about the ratings, and we had a little discussion about that. So if y'all want to go check that out, y'all can go do that. But now, as you can see, we are one day out, three hours, 17 minutes, and 30 seconds, sorry, 34 seconds in counting. You feel me? So... It's lit. But so y'all know how we do this. We just gonna talk about a little bit more news while we fight off these these crazy MS. So y'all know that basically the game comes out in a day and some change. It comes out at 12 on Friday morning. Y'all know. So y'all know how that works. I had to up my sensitivity in this because that that junk in my last video, it just wasn't cutting it. Damn it. Maybe it's not cutting it still. I was reading an article and they were talking about how there's five things that we should know before playing The Last of Us Part 2. You feel me? Now, the first thing, ah, uh, that's really his business. There's five things I think we should know. The first thing is that it's a direct sequel. We all know this. Now, we know it takes place five years after the first one. If y'all, so if y'all didn't play the first one, y'all should play the first one. Like, and now y'all have less than a day, so I would strap in. <laughs> and even if you can't finish it, maybe play it as long as you can, and then watch the rest. If you're contemplating whether or not you should get this. You feel me? The second thing is that the game is meant to be unpleasant. So we saw this being discussed, right, in the reviews that were coming out and how there's a whole lot of violence, which is actually kind of the third thing, but we'll just say that there's there's a lot of violence. It's meant to be unpleasant. But it's not even just that. I think just the experience of, of the characters is supposed to be unpleasant in and of itself before even getting to the level of violence that we will be... I missed the f that we will be exposed to in The Last of Us Part 2. All that does go hand in hand, you feel me, with the fact that it is very violent. And y'all know this. Listen, we knew that the game was going to be ridiculously violent when we saw this. Oh, get off me. Get off. Stupid. Oh, I got bullets for y'all. You push that thing towards me? What are you, stupid? Dummy, hold that. That's a big muff. <laughs> so that does bring us to the next point. Now, y'all know we shouldn't have been surprised by any means at the fact that it was going to be violent. I've never been killed by a bloater. That was disturbing. Now, y'all remember, the first E3 trailer they showed us, right? We saw people get disemboweled right away. And then they had that whole... Clip your wings bullshit. Whatever that junk was, but she broke both arms. Like, we knew this junk was going to be violent, so I don't know why that's coming. That should not be coming as a surprise to anyone. Like, if you start off a gameplay with that, you you have a different kind of goal. No bullshit. So anyways, at the end of the day, you know it is very violent. Regardless of whether or not we should have expected it. If you can't bear it, or you have little children, don't play it around them. And if you just can't bear it, just, I guess, don't play it. And obviously, they show these things quite visually. So, you know, I don't know. Oh, shoot, this is mad bullets. Where were y'all before? Yo, get the, yo, hold this bloater. I'm missing the spots I need to be shooting. So the fourth thing is that it's been reviewing very well. Now, we talked about that in my last video. To given, Naughty Dog is a company that does not miss, generally. Usually, if they put out a game, it's going to be good. Again, it hit a 96 on Metacritic. That is not a common score by any means, and it's only one under the first game, which got a 97. Mm, okay, my bad. I meant to say the first one got one under the second one, which means they technically think the second one is better. But, anyways. So, there's that. All of the scores have talked about the violence in depth, about how, you know, they couldn't bear it. I don't know if they, they might be being a little extra with that, you know? And I really want to kill this bloater, and I'd appreciate it if he stopped throwing that shit. I mean, I feel like it's the same people that will then watch something crazy, like some horror movie, or like Final Destination, like, or something crazy, and I'm just like, man, that's real people, but you can watch that. The fifth thing is that it is controversial. Now, what that means... I, I, I do not know. I mean, that can mean a plethora of things. I think they're saying even the language and stuff that's used. Now, we know Ellie is sexual orientation. She is, she, she's lesbian, so she likes girls, so she's part of the LGBTQ community. And there's a religious group, so they could be saying all kinds of things. Which would be the point of the game 
or at least one of the points of the game. I mean, who knows what the whole point of the attack was. That's why I still say I got a lot of theories as to what could be the case. And this bloater is really not dying. That's really crazy, stupid. Like, you took too long to die. But yeah, y'all, it could mean a lot of things. I don't know. The language could be controversial. Obviously, people walk around with dogs and stuff, so... Killing dogs is controversial in and of itself. People don't want to do that. That's really all I wanted to come and talk about. I'm excited. We're less than a full day out. Well, we're actually, we're, we're right around a full day out. So, it's lit. And this MF is real sick. We'll catch y'all later. Peace.